The push toward Mars is underway, and the competition is heating up. SpaceX remains at the center of attention, but China is also making significant moves, adding to the urgency of the race. In light of this, Elon Musk and Gwynne Shotwell have revealed updates on both the Mars timeline and a landmark customer contract. The big question now, how far has Starship come, and when might it make the leap to Mars? As the second half of 2025 unfolds, the next optimal launch window to Mars draws nearer. SpaceX continues to make the boldest strides in its Mars program. Recently, SpaceX President and COO Gwynne Shotwell posted an announcement on X, Get on board. We are going to Mars. SpaceX is now offering Starship services to the Red Planet. We are excited to work with the Italian Space Agency on a first-of-its-kind agreement. More to come. This marks a major milestone. The first official customer is now committed. The Italian Space Agency confirmed that the deal includes sending scientific instruments aboard Starship to gather vital data during the journey. This means the inaugural Starship mission to Mars will carry more than just a robotic payload. It will also transport experiments to prepare for future exploration. SpaceX plans to include its humanoid robot, Optimus, as part of the mission. Shotwell's more-to-come hint suggests additional partnerships and payload announcements are likely on the way. Each new collaboration adds credibility and momentum to SpaceX's Mars ambitions. Elon Musk has also been speaking more about the schedule for going to Mars. He often shares updates through social media, talks, and interviews. Some of his targets may sound very hopeful, but they do give a rare look at the short-term, middle-term, and long-term steps SpaceX is planning. In the near term, Elon Musk has brought back an earlier idea, but this time attached a clearer time frame. He mentioned there's a slim possibility that Starship could attempt a Mars mission carrying the Optimus humanoid robot as early as November or December 2026. That's less than two years from now. Musk was clear that the probability is low, but putting a date on it signals that SpaceX is actively aiming for it rather than leaving the idea open-ended. If it were to happen, it would be a major milestone for Mars exploration. Previous missions to the planet have only deployed small-scale equipment like rovers and helicopters. In contrast, Starship has the capacity to transport far larger payloads, and because it's designed for reusability, it could drastically reduce costs and open new possibilities. The addition of a humanoid robot would also be a strategic advantage, enabling work in hazardous environments where it would be unsafe to send early human crews. Still, that goal faces significant hurdles. A mission of that scale requires multiple systems to be completed, tested, and proven reliable in a very short time frame. Even Musk has acknowledged that everything would need to align perfectly for a 2026 launch window to be realistic. Looking further ahead, Musk shared a more grounded plan. He believes the first uncrewed mission to Mars is more likely in about three and a half years, with the first crewed mission roughly five and a half years away. That points to a potential uncrewed flight in early 2029, followed by a human mission around 2031. This extended schedule would give SpaceX time to collect operational data, refine spacecraft systems, and address challenges before committing to sending people to the Red Planet. This timing matters because other nations are pushing ahead with their own Mars plans. China is advancing quickly with Tianwen-3, a mission to gather Mars samples and bring them to Earth, possibly launching in 2028 with a return in 2031. The country views this as a key move toward crewed Mars missions. In contrast, NASA's Mars sample return effort is suffering from major delays and rising costs, now estimated at over $11 billion and postponed to around 2040. There are concerns the program could be canceled without significant improvements. This situation puts more pressure on SpaceX. If Starship can send a mission to Mars by late 2028 or early 2029, it would be ahead of both the United States Space Agency and China. Launching before China's Tianwen-3 mission would be a strong sign of leadership and skill in space. It would also help set up early bases, find resources, and claim a position in Mars exploration. In the long run, these first missions could be remembered as the start of building a permanent human base on Mars. Starship could carry both supplies and people across the long distance. 
With international partners, clear timelines, and steady progress, the countdown to Mars is no longer just talk. It is happening. Starship's abilities are just as important as its schedule. Even in early missions, when it might not carry full loads, Starship can still take far more cargo than any other rocket being built today, including those in China. This means it could bring back more Mars samples in a single mission than other systems. More samples mean better science. While directly returning samples on Starship is a big challenge, SpaceX could also take smaller return vehicles or special collection tools to help other missions. This could be useful in the near future when fast development is needed. The first Mars customer, Italy, is already on board. More countries and science groups may soon join. Each successful uncrewed flight in the middle term will help the United States take the lead over China. China's Tianwen-3 mission planned for 2031 is already being developed. If SpaceX flies before then, even slightly, it would send a powerful message. From 2026 to 2029, Starship could begin setting up for a long-term presence on Mars. These early flights will test the rocket's abilities and prepare the surface. This includes delivering equipment, testing how to use local resources, finding water ice, setting up solar power, and finding safe landing sites. By 2029 to 2031, we may see the first human footsteps on Mars. This would allow real-time research and early building of surface bases. Humans could begin setting up bigger habitats, stronger power systems, and permanent structures. At that point, Mars would start to become a second home. Supplies like oxygen, water, and methane fuel could be made directly from the Martian environment. Even while China's mission is bringing samples back, SpaceX could already have people working there and sending materials back to Earth. After these short- and middle-term steps, the long-term goal is to build a full city on Mars. Musk believes this will need at least one million tons of cargo on the surface. That amount could support one million people living without help from Earth. To do this, SpaceX would launch fleets of starships every time Mars is close to Earth, which happens about every 26 months. Musk has said 10 launches per window, each carrying 250 tons. Even at this rate, it would take 8 to 10 years to deliver all the cargo. More realistically, with delays and challenges, it could take 20 to 30 years. At first, people would live in sealed habitats and domes. They would explore the surface in special suits. Over time, as technology improves and the environment is better understood, life would move from basic survival to a normal daily routine on another world. But before any of this happens, many big challenges remain. SpaceX must first complete and perfect Starship version 2. The rocket must be able to launch safely, reach orbit, and land precisely. One of the hardest goals is catching both the rocket and its booster with the large Mechazilla arms for fast reuse. Another critical step is orbital refueling, which is required for long-distance trips. A strong heat shield is also needed to survive entering atmospheres at high speeds. On the ground, SpaceX is growing quickly, from its main site in Texas to launch pads in Florida, new factories, tall rocket assembly buildings, and upgraded launch systems are being built. All of this is needed for frequent launches and a growing fleet. The race to Mars is getting more intense. SpaceX and the United States face strong competition from China. But for now, no one matches the speed, focus, or big goals of SpaceX. Through new ideas, hard work, and a clear vision, the company is leading the push into this new chapter of space travel. So once again, get on board. The future is being built right now.